Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Liz. I hope you're well. Today we're going to be reading this beautiful book and this book is called When the Stars Go Out by John St. Julian. Now this is a very special episode. John St. Julian is founder of Share Tanzania and one of the many reasons why we started Community Plus, our charity. But that's enough from me. Let me hand you over to John to tell you a little bit more. This is just a quick message to say the team and myself and our family have decided that we will make some series on the other YouTube channel, the charity YouTube channel. That channel doesn't often get as many views as it should and there's a lot of amazing work going on there, a lot of miracles and a lot of testimonials to the power of the presence of God in our lives, the power of that love manifest in our human story. We've decided to make two series on there and I am presenting both of those series. One is Meet Our Family, where I am going to go through the amazing family that uh, I started at God's request out in Tanzania and take you through the stories of some of these children whilst being careful to protect their identities at the same time. And I do so to remind the world and also to alert the world, those of us who don't know what we are doing and what we are continuing to push to do, why a village like the one we've built and why families like ours for all unorthodox are needed in this world. We try every avenue possible with children in Tanzania before they are admitted to our family but hopefully in meeting our family uh, and understanding the troubles that the children have gone through people will be able to understand why the human story needs this village and more of these villages because there are many more children living in these circumstances Beyond there, we're also going to do a series about the miracles of Share Tanzania. The miracles that have allowed that family to manifest, not only of the children, but the rescue dogs, and also the thousands of children that we have helped outside of our family over the years. Thanks to the love, support, the connectivity of using this technology in the way that we have, of of video, camera, YouTube, etc. and the love and support of this community as well. So the charity YouTube channel, the link to that channel is in the, in the description box of this video and it'll be pinned in the comments as well. Please go over there and subscribe because I won't be posting these videos to this channel. I'll only be posting them there. So if you go over, subscribe, hit the notification bell as I am posting this series, I think we'll do a few every week, uh, maybe three videos a week in total, then you will be able to check in and meet another member of our family, find out the good work that some of you have made possible in this world, and at the same time be able to hear some of the miracles which are a, a testimonial in my eyes to the power of God's love in this world, and that the miracles that people associate with the supernatural power of God are not something for the history books. They are here and now and they are alive today in our human story. They are alive today in this planet. They are alive today making wonders happen and bringing great love to those who desperately need it. That was all. God bless guys. Thank you for the love and support as always and this is the first episode in our Meet the Family series. Okay, for more information, all the links will be in the descriptions below, but let's head over to the blurb. Come on. This story follows the journey of a big lonely star in his corner of space, which makes some magical star friends. He learns so much about friendship and love, but before long, as with all stars, their light goes out and they are no longer with him to laugh, love and play. Where do stars go when their light goes out? 
And how does that relate to us humans and our life? Perhaps the two are more related than we think. Shall we read the story? Come on then. When the stars go out. High up in the dark twinkles of the night sky above, lived a big lonely star needing a lesson in love. The star had seen many things. He had done many things too. But he just never understood love like we are supposed to. The star was alone, you see, in that dark corner of space. And when it comes to making friends, that's not a great place. His heart was okay. It was so full of twinkling starry love. But with no one around him, he just did not feel as he should have. Then one dark starry night, with the slimmest of cosmic chants, three small lights appeared and they began to shimmer and dance. Those tiny lights grew brighter and more blinding with each passing day. And in time, that lonely star and they began to laugh, love and play. Oh, how happy he was in the company he now had. Oh, how they all loved each other and that made them quite glad. Before long, the big star became grateful in his corner of space. It was no longer dull. In fact, it had become a wondrous place. Then one day, with the playful curiosity of a cat, one little star asked a question and so began a long chat. Where is that we come from, big shining star? Was it over there? Is it over here? Or is it so far? Well, if I am open, I am not all that sure. But I believe it is a place full of love and ever so pure. I love you. Will we three stars ever go back there and see such a place? To which a big wide smile spread across the big star's face. Oh yes, I am sure that we will, that we can and we do. For even here, I can feel that place inside of me and inside of you. You see, once I was sad and alone in this dark. And now you three are here, my heart sings like a lark. And so I just feel that beyond this dark, mysterious sky is a place we all come from and go when we say goodbye. If something as beautiful as you three came from there, I can say it must be more magical than our star minds can be. The three stars smiled content with what they had heard. In their hearts, they felt love as their smiles turned inward. As time did go by, those four stars had the greatest of fun. They laughed and they played and their blinding light bright star beams did run. And that big lonely star, whose heart had started out so lost and dull, was finally feeling whole and complete and all in all so full. Finally, the big star had learned the lesson that we all must, that having friends and loving others is more precious than stardust. Their lives were so content as they twinkled in the night. It seemed an end to their joy was never in sight. Those three little stars, how they shone brighter than most, shining so bright like some sort of angelic cosmic signpost. Then on the darkest of nights, totally out of the blue, there was a change in the three stars and the big star, well, he had no idea what to do. It began with a crackle, a fizz and a pop. 
The big star tried everything to make it stop. But the light of the three little stars was no longer so whole. And eventually, their once bright star lights faded to dull. Little stars, please, why is it that your light is suddenly so low? We don't know, big star, we really don't know. We just no longer have the strength to glow. The three stars grew dimmer, and now only their dullness did grow. Then one little star whispered, I think it is our time to go. Goodbye. Then with the last of their rays on the big star's star face, the three stars stopped talking, stopped shining and lighting up the day with their grace. And just like that, those three beautiful stars went away. The big star was all alone. Oh, how he wished they could stay. The big star felt mournfulness. His three friends were out of sight. He was alone once again in that dark, fast, lonely night. Oh, how he missed them, the smiles laugh and play. Oh, how he hoped to see them again someday. He took time to speak to them towards that big star-filled sky and he listened intently in the hope of a reply. Sometimes in slumber, the star would have the most precious of dreams. Then think of the three stars as he gazed at the moon and its beams. It was hard for a while without his three friends, but the love they had shared began to make amends. As time went by, he slowly became a little less sad, for he remembered with gratitude all the fun times that they all had. Then one sleepy twinkling night in his dark corner of space came an unfamiliar voice from an unfamiliar face. Hurtling by with a vast trail of great shining light was a meteor, a shooting star that lit up the night. The shooting star shouted as his trail of light was passing by like a pianist playing a tune while flying through that night sky. Hey there, big star! Is you here all alone? Came from his cheery face, all made of stone. Well, it might look like I am as you fly on by here, but I have a story for you before you disappear. Do you see those three white lights silently shining and still? For the most magical of times, we all had such a thrill. And for all they are not here to laugh, smile and play, they are with me in my heart every single day. If those stars are not with you, then where did they go? Well, to be honest, I really do not know. But I can tell you this, that by now I am quite sure they are happy where they are in a place filled with love that is ever so pure. The end. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that beautiful story and I hope you join me next time when we read some more amazing books. In the meantime, stay tuned to find out how you can help. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that book and you would like to purchase yourself a copy, the links are in the description below, along with all my socials where you can contact me further to find out more information. Thanks guys, bye! Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and if you'd like to see more of my content, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks guys!